now let's see a c program in order to simulate c scan disk scheduling algorithm in this program we are using std lib dot h std lib stands for standard library here we are using a library function called abs abs library function is available in std lib dot h abs stands for absolute abs will always gives absolute value that means a positive number abs of minus 20 equal to plus 20 abs of minus 100 equal to 100 so that's why we are using abs function here we need to find out the head movements the head movement is always a positive number uh, first let's see the program problem and then we will see the uh, program parallelly we will see the program problem as well as uh, execution uh, let's see the problem here here we have uh, uh, totally eight request are there so a 98 183 37 122 likewise totally we have eight request uh, initially the head starts from 153 uh, here uh, uh, the disk capacity will be given assumes that disk capacity is 200 cylinders assumes that disk capacity is 200 so the minimum value is 0 the maximum value is 199 here the direction of the head movement will be given the direction of the head movement may be either 0 or 1 so 0 means it is the minimum value that is 0 whereas 1 means 0 means left 1 means right so 1 means that maximum value that is 199 assumes that in this example the direction of the head movement is 1 so we have to start from the read write head that is 53 uh, and then then we will move from 53 to what is the here uh, assumes that the read write head is 1 assumes that the direction of the head movement is 1 so we have to start uh, from the 53 and we have to move towards the right towards the right so here we are starting from 53 and we are moving towards the right till we get 199 if he reaches the 199 then the direction of the head movement will be reversed so from 199 to 0 we will traverse but while traversing in reverse direction uh, no uh, request will be served so again after reaching 0 the remaining request will be served uh, such as 14 and 37 will be served uh, now let's see the logic here let's see the logic uh, for this program Uh, so first here uh, we require rq of 100 so totally we can have 100 request ij are nothing but loop variables n means total number of uh, request in this problem we have uh, eight uh, requests are there and the initial value of the total head movement is 0 uh, this initial specifies read write head initial position disk arm initial position this size specifies the disk size in this problem disk size is 200 next to move move value may be either 0 or 1 so 0 means left 1 means right so index is useful in order to find uh, the initial index position the read write head initial position temp is for swapping purpose so initially we are reading number of request next we are reading the requests next we are reading the head position Uh, the the head position that variable is initial next uh, we have to read the disk size disk size means it is denoted by size next head movement head movement value may be either 1 or 0 so 0 means lower value that is left value whereas 1 means right value uh, that is highest value okay uh, let's see the logic here first we have to do the sorting first we have to arrange is all the request in ascending order so for that purpose simply we are using the bubble sort logic so we know the logic for the bubble sort okay so in the outermost for loop i less than n 
innermost for loop j less than n minus i minus 1 if rq of j is greater than rq of j plus 1 then simply we have to swap the numbers with the help of the temp we know how to swap two numbers using the temporary variable so temp equal to a a equal to b b equal to temp okay that's it uh, we know about bubble chart if you don't have idea on the bubble chart uh, already I, I uploaded a video on the bubble chart i will share that video link in the description as well as the first comment so please go through that okay uh, next after sorting we have to find out the uh, this uh, initial index position so for that purpose this is the logic so for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus if initial is less than rq of i then the index is set to i so index is nothing but i value uh, and then use break statement okay okay so this is the logic for uh, finding the index of the initial so whenever initial is less than rq of i then index will become that i value okay uh, now let's see that uh, uh, problem so if you see here so initially what we are doing i uh, here the request request uh, uh, queue contains these request totally we have eight request uh, then we have to arrange them in ascending order if you see here uh, 14 37 65 67 98 122 124 and 183 so that means all those request uh, uh, elements are arranged in ascending order so these are the index positions from 0 to 7 here n value is 8 so totally we have 8 request from 0 to 7 next we have to find out the index position so for finding the index position what is the logic we have to start from 0 for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus if initial is less than if initial is less than rq of i what is initial value here 53 so 53 is less than what is rq of 0 14 so 53 is less than 14 false so condition is false so that if body won't be executed next to 53 is less than that is 7 condition is false so if body won't won't be executed next to 53 is less than 65 yes condition is true so the body will be executed so now what is index index means that 65 position what is 65 position 2 what is the 65 index 2 so now index is 2 index is 2 if you see here this is the diagram here uh, here totally here we have 8 request as well as additionally we have uh, that minimum disk value what is the minimum disk value 0 and what is the maximum disk value 200 so 200 means from 0 to 199 so here 0 199 and as well as here we have 53 so this 53 is also not a part of the that request so here 0 53 as well as 199 these three are not the part of the request queue so here the logic is here assumes that move value is 1 so we have to start from head and continue up to the final end that is 199 so here we have to start from index what is index value 2 so the logic is very very simple for i is equal to index and we have to continue up to the last one i less than n next i plus plus so let's see the logic here let's see the logic so let's see the logic here if movement is towards the higher value okay so that means move value is one if move here what is the movement value one one double equal to one yes condition is true so for i equal to index i less than n i plus plus so we have to start from index and continue up to n so total head movement equal to total head movement plus abs of rq of i minus initial so what is rq of i so we will have some value so we, we need to subtract initial from rq of i we need to apply abs that means this head movement is always a positive value and then we have to change the initial previously initial is at some location now we have to place initial at rq of 0 rq of 0 so now let's see the logic here let's see the logic here so uh, total head movement equal to total head movement initial value is 0 0 plus abs of 
what is rq of 0 rq of 0 means this first element 14 so 14 minus what is initial initial means 53 so that means we have to uh, do 14 minus 53 here 14 minus 53 and 53 minus 14 both are same only why because we are using absolute function it always gives the positive value okay uh, so if we see here uh, if we see i'm sorry uh, here we are starting from which index here we are starting from second index here we are starting from second index so here what is second index second index means 65 second index means 65 so now what is the statement total head movement equal to total head movement plus abs of rq of i so what is i value index value what is index 2 so rq of 0 means 65 so 65 minus what is the read right head 53 so that means we are traversing from 53 to 65 so that means the first head movement is 65 minus 53 if you see here 65 minus 53 next we have to change the initial value previously initial is at 53 now initial will be placed at now we have to traverse from 65 so uh, the next statement is initial equal to rq of i so in this iteration what is i value 2 so now initial will become 65 so that means now the read write head is at 65 next what will happen i plus plus next i will become 3 i will become 3 so next uh, 60 what is rq of 3 67 so 67 minus uh, what is the initial 65 so that means we have to perform 67 minus 65 this 67 minus 65 next what will happen i plus plus so now i will become 4 so that means we have to calculate 98 minus 67 98 minus 67 next 122 minus 98 next 124 minus 122 next 183 minus 124 if you see here 183 minus 124 next uh, yeah we, we will calculate up to this one why because here what is the last request the last request is 7 the last request is 7 so that means we can calculate we can move up to 183 we can move up to 183 but we, we have to traverse to the last value also that means we have to compute 199 minus 183 also so here whenever the condition is false then what is i value so previously i is 7 next i will become 8 so whenever the condition is false then i will become 8 i will become 8 now let's see the uh, logic here for calculating the last disk last one so for the last movement this is the statement total head movement equal to total head movement plus abs of size size minus 1 what is size 200 200 minus 1 means 199 so 199 minus rq of pre what is the previous value of i here i value is the last i value is 7 so whenever i becomes 8 then the condition is false so that means i is 7 so rq of 8 minus 1 means 7 so rq of 7 so that means 199 will be subtracted from the last request so if you see here 199 is subtracted from the last request so that means from 53 to 199 so the this distance is calculated now we have to move from so once we reaches the final end that is last end in the problem either 0 or 1 may be given so 1 means we have to start from read right head and move towards the 199 suppose if 0 is given then we have to start from 53 and move towards the 0 okay so now after reaching the this rightmost end uh, the direction of the head movement will be reversed and we have to traverse from 199 to 0 so that means we have to compute now 199 minus 0 if you see here we have to compute 199 minus 0 so now let's see how we can compute that how we can compute that so for the for that we have uh, uh, a statement so let's see that statement let's see that statement uh, uh, so total uh, so this is the statement total head movement equal to total head movement plus abs of size what is size 200 so 200 minus 1 means 199 so 199 minus 0 so this movement is also calculated 
next we have to calculate from uh, next we have to calculate from uh, 0 to if you see here we have to calculate from we have to calculate from uh, we have to move from 0 to 1 and then 1 to 2 so for that we can uh, uh, initialize uh, initial to 0 initial to 0 initial equal to 0 for i equal to 0 next i less than we have to traverse up to second index second index i less than index i plus plus total head movement equal to total head movement plus abs of abs of what is this 14 this 14 is nothing but rq of 0 so rq of i minus initial uh, now let us uh, uh, calculate from 0 to the index uh, if you see here uh, initial equal to 0 so that means we have to uh, calculate from 0 to the corresponding index so for i equal to 0 i less than index i plus plus so total head movement equal to total head movement plus abs of rq of 0 minus initial so rq of 0 minus in initial means we can traverse from 0 to rq of 0 next i plus plus so rq of 1 to initial so likewise uh, the first two, two will also be served so likewise if uh, mu equal to 0 then this else block will be executed this else block will be executed it, it is uh, just like if mu equal to 1 only it is uh, vice versa approach if mu equal to 0 then we have to start the uh, read write head from the initial and traverse to the 0 when we reach 0 then reverse the direction uh, uh, during uh, traversing there is no need to serve the request so after reversing the direction again we have to serve the remaining request so it is just already uh, i have explained that mu equal to zero logic in uh, scan discussion scheduling program just please refer that program uh, for mu equal to zero code i will share uh, that video link in the description as well as first comment so please go through that okay <coughs> so yeah, so if you see here uh, the output is uh, uh, total number of head movements are totally we have 382 so total number of head movements are 382 cylinders now let us uh, run the program let us uh, execute the program uh, let us run the program uh, so here we have program so this is our program this is our program if move equal to 0 else uh, yeah bo uh, in the program we have to specify both the conditions uh, run let, now let us uh, give the output here let us give the output here so here the number of requests are let us run the program enter number of request here totally we have eight requests are there next let us uh, enter the request 98 183 37 122 14 124 65 67 next we have to enter the head position that is 53 next enter the total is size that is 200 next head movement 1 so total uh, uh, number of head movements are 382 so this is about uh, c scan discussion during algorithm program